Alzheimer's patients and their families are among those putting faith in gene therapy. Diseases once thought incurable, like cystic fibrosis and cancer, are on the cusp of breakthroughs because of work that scientists are doing with genetics. But altering human genes is complicated and controversial stuff. So joining us now to put gene therapy in focus is Jeff Galvin, CDO of American Gene Technologies. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. I, I think that uh, it's a great opportunity to talk about gene therapy, a lot of things that are happening even right here in Baltimore mm -hmm. on this subject. And that is amazing because people, HIV has really become like a chronic disease now. People live with it longer, but a cure would obviously be ideal for everyone. Oh, absolutely. It's completely different treating a disease versus curing a disease. I mean, uh, the very simplest uh, aspect of that is that curing a disease is much cheaper than treating a disease. They spend tens of thousands of dollars every year to keep HIV patients alive and having a relatively normal life. But the secondary thing is, is that you don't realize that the drugs that they're taking every single day have at least minimal side effects like osteoporosis, bone density loss, early aging, some issues with cardiopulmonary events. So it's not cost-free to treat people and give them a normal life on those uh, highly active antiretroviral therapies. So a cure would be very important. So what is gene therapy? In well, the gene, simplest of terms. The simplest of terms. <laughs> well, basically, it allows us to get right down into the molecular biology of a cell. And instead of, like, throwing things on the outside of the cell and trying to get it to go ahead and change what it's doing inside, we can actually get in there and reprogram the cell at the DNA level in order to correct problems at the core of the cell. It's extremely targeted, which means that when we treat somebody with gene therapy, it just goes to the disease cells. It just does what we want, and it doesn't have those broad side effects that are typical of current types of drugs. Is it as controversial as it has been in the past? Well, I'm not really sure, you know, what would be controversial about it. I mean, obviously, like, when people project this thing way off into the future, you start thinking designer babies and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you could even think about consequences where rich people could live for 250 years right. because gene therapy is that good, right? And then that might be an issue when everybody else has a 70-year lifespan, but these are policy issues that are way, way down the road. In the near term, what we have is in the next couple of years, you're going to see a drip, drip, drip of what you're going to consider miracle cures. I mean, people getting out of their wheelchairs, blind people seeing, cancers being cured. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in this. You're probably not even aware that there's 250 gene therapy trials going on right now as we speak. So it's a revolution happening right under our feet with an amazing, uh, you know, payoff for the public. Amazing. Jeff Galvin, thanks so much for coming in. My grandmother has almost all summer, so I'd love to see a, a cure for that one day. I think that gene therapy has potential for that. Right. Absolutely. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks for coming in.